Let me just say thank you. Uh, because uh, I think we have one of the finest, not the finest public works department in the United States, certainly uh, one of the largest uh, in the United States. And, of course, this is the largest project in the country. So let me, let me thank the Houston Public Works. Um, and then uh, let me just say to the city of Houston is excited to be joining the Texas Water Development Board and Coastal Water Authority once more for a ribbon cutting of the Loose Bayou Interbasin Transfer Project. What is more exciting is that the project is now operational and serving the Houston area for four years, four years later. The Loose Bayou Interbasin Project is a key component to support the expansion of the Northeast Water Purification Plant. Uh, the new pump station will transfer, transfer 240 million gallons of water each day from Trinity River to Lake Houston and the Northeast Water Purification Plant. Uh, the future expansion will eventually transfer 500 million gallons uh, of water every day. That's, that's, a, lot of, that's a lot of water. Uh, hell yeah, that's a lot of water. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine it in my mind, you know. I can fill up a whole lot of bathtubs, you know. The $381 million project represents more than 50 years of effort by local leaders to ensure water supply meets the ever-growing demand. And it's also an example of what happens when you have collaboration from top down, from the state, the Texas Water Development Board, uh, locally from all of the authorities, and then from all of the various units. Uh, when you collaborate in a positive way, big things can happen. This project will provide water for Harris and Fort Bend counties, where population is, is expected to grow by 3 million people by 2050. The Loose Bayou Interbasin Transfer Project is helping to meet the water supply demands of a growing population. And the Northeast Water Purification Plan expansion will would not meet the water supply demands without the loose bayou project the city's partnership with the texas water development board the coastal water authority and other regional water authorities for projects like loose bayou ensures we can support a growing population without relying on groundwater I want to thank the Houston Public Works, the Coastal Water Authority, along with the Texas Water Development Board for their collaboration in making this project a reality. Our region experienced serious droughts in the past decade that made us rethink uh, our water uh, supply strategy. And you cannot have growth and development if you don't take the necessary measures to build the infrastructure to have that ready supply of water available. You can't be competitive if you don't have the water. The engine won't move without the water. Nothing happens without the water. And this is our economic engine, not just for the city of Houston, but for the region as a whole. The water literally is the fuel that drives the engine. And if you don't have that water, you don't have that engine starting. So we've made an investment not just for those of us here today, uh, but for generations yet to come. Quite frankly, I hope we are all around 50 years from now in good health, you know, without mass and anything else. Uh, but the reality is you have to build the infrastructure, not for yesterday and not for today. You build the infrastructure for tomorrow. And many times it's not easy to get all the components to make the necessary financial investments to get it done. But you can hold on and not build and not finance, and you'll pay the price later and regret. So let's live a life of no regrets. Today, as we prepare to cut the ribbon, it's a testament to our region that we are prepared to govern and live a life where we don't have to regret what we didn't do. Sometimes it costs to prepare and build a prosperous future. So to all the mayors, to the state reps, to all of the authorities, uh, to the Texas Water Development Board, uh, to the Coastal Water Authorities and the board members, uh, let me just say thank you on behalf of not today's generation, but let me say thank you on behalf of generations yet to come. Thank you very much.